hi all today we'll be studying about lex programs okay so here experiment number 1 write a lex program to recognize valid arithmetic expression identifiers in a expression could be only integer and operators would be plus and star mark so he is saying the integers are allowed plus and star marks are allowed and count the number of identifiers operators present and print separately okay so he is asking to print it number of identifiers also okay so here before going for a lex program exactly so just we'll study that is in lex lexical analyzer okay we'll use one tool that is called as a lex okay so that always will takes the input from the user and converts okay takes the input from the user that is dot c file and converts this dot c file source code into tokens and give it to the next page okay that is for parser so c file whatever contents are there or whatever we are seeing as now inputs here okay so that input whatever is there it will be converted in terms of tokens to identify the tokens who have the lexer here okay so so how to write that one is nothing but here lex program has three things okay so three sections we have so to differentiate three sections we are using percentage symbol so twice i given as a percentage symbol so here first section in between these two this is second so after this this third section okay first one we say as a definition section second one we will say as a rule section third one we are saying this one as a user subroutine section Okay. so definition section here is nothing but definitions or some declarations or hash include kind of things or hash define kind of things something will do it okay that is nothing but you are declaring or defining a c type variables or some tokens okay there you are doing it and rule section is nothing but here it has two things rule section that is rule section has two things first one is we'll say as a regular expressions will be there okay so whatever input is coming for that you are writing a regular expression for which you are going to identify the tokens and corresponding action okay so you will be having two things that is in a rule section you have regular expressions suppose i have as a identifying as a plus only so if whenever plus will come what kind of things i have to do it so that is the action part so normally action part will write in terms of flower buckets okay so here regular expression will be there then corresponding actions will write it so in third one that is something but user subroutine section so there we can write any valid c code so on functions we can write it one or more than one functions we can write it and if you are executing only lex program so that time we'll write in that main also okay so here what will happen so whenever you have three sections first second third so this is one dot l file will be there okay that is lex file so this dot l file will compile it by using lex okay so whenever we are compiling this one so it output of this lex is nothing but one c file you are getting it okay so that c file name is lex dot yy dot c okay this c file name is lex dot yy dot c so this is the output you are getting it so whenever you are getting output file as a c file this c file we can compile it as a gcc then you can get the output that is a dot out then we can see the output so it is nothing but lex to c conversion c to actual output file that we are taking it so here whatever we are writing it section 1 2 3 in lex code so those will be converted into c codes okay so that is something but here we separated by percentage three sections we separated by percentage here okay so that is in first section whatever we are writing the declarations if it is a c content is there c code is there as it is it will be kept it okay and third one we are writing valid c code only so this is also as it is it will be kept so in between whatever rule section we are writing it in that changes will happen what is this change is nothing but here whatever we are writing a regular expression and corresponding action for that valid c code will be generated by lex 
valid c code will be generated by lex okay and it will be kept inside a one function that is function is will say as a y by lex function okay that entire part will be kept inside y by lex function okay so inside this content will be kept so whatever second section is there that is rule section that will be kept inside y by lex okay so now this y by lex function is there inside okay lex dot y y dot c file so whatever lex file you had that is dot l file you had if i compiled by lex okay so that time we are getting this file so in this file one function will be there that is y by lex so in this y by lex function you have the code that is whatever we return in rule section of lex code okay so then this file we are compiling it so apart from this function this will be having two main things that is nothing but whatever def user uh, definition section we return that also it will copy as it is then user subroutine section whatever return that is also it will copy as it is so this entire thing together it will form a one valid c program okay so now we'll see how to write it so here this is a percentage percentage here also percentage percentage okay so this part is a definition section okay so this is a definition section so this part is nothing but rule section okay then after the third one we have user subroutine section that we'll see it next okay so here if you saw we're writing just we're initializing some variables okay so arithmetic validation okay bracket validation plus operator star operator identifiers these are all whatever we're keeping the count and if it is an open bracket and close bracket is coming it's you know, uh, valid is it a valid expression or not that we are checking it and if i have say, only two plus three is it a valid expression or not that we are checking it for that purpose we are using these two variables okay so there is nothing but normal c code we return it so in definition section so here in rule section we are writing the actual thing okay that is nothing but our related to our lex program so here it will be having the regular expression and corresponding action part okay so my regular expression is nothing but here our question has the arithmetic expressions i have to check it so plus and star mark is allowed then numbers are allowed okay so here what we are doing first we are checking for plus okay if plus is coming from the input so we are saying is a, this is the arithmetic expression normally okay so how many plus operators came that we are incrementing suppose star mark is there how many star marks are coming that we are updating so now here we are checking for identifier in c identifier valid identifier definition is it can start with any letter or underscore followed by digits okay then again you can follow same uh, um, letters okay so this regular expression we return it that is nothing but we are seeing as a, as a valid identifier expression so we are just counting how many identifiers are coming it so this this uh, this part is nothing but action part so corresponding regular expression will be having action part so here what we are doing whatever whenever identifier will come corresponding action part just we are incrementing the count okay so here this is a, nothing but for the digits only okay that is 0 to 9 plus we given there is a digit we are identifying it so that you are keeping the count okay then open bucket close bucket so here we are getting open bucket we are maintaining the number of bracket validation purpose okay so validation increment and whenever we are getting close actually we have to decrement it okay so here little bit logic we written what is that we'll study it okay so other than that regular expression is nothing but we are saying as a other than these things if anything came inside input that is dot any character if it came any character we are not doing anything just we return semicolon okay then slash zero the slash n it is nothing but whenever end of the line will occur we are saying as a we'll stop the taking the input okay we will come out of the this expression okay now here so we will say that this is third section okay this third section is nothing but user subroutine section in that we are writing main part so main part we are saying is a enter the expression and we are calling the lex now okay yy lex function we are calling it so whenever it, whatever the here whatever will be there this will be converted into yy lex code okay in, inside of this function yy lex 
y y x inside that function this entire code will be converted into valid c code okay so that will be there so directly we are calling that one okay so after that validation purpose now we are checking the variables whatever variables we had here no those variables we are checking it here whatever we had those all variables we are checking here okay so depending on this variables just we are saying as it is a valid expression or invalid expression that we are displaying it so now we will go for when we are saying as a valid when we are saying as a invalid okay so here we are taking as a one x variable that is bracket validate so i am keeping variable value as 0 if value is always 0 so we are saying as a whatever expression we entered that is a valid one only okay suppose open bracket came i am incrementing okay so it means whenever close bracket will come i have to decrement it so i have to make it as a again 0 only so whenever open bracket is coming so bracket size has to be matched that is if a plus b is there inside a bracket so i have to check this is the first one open bracket came so i have to wait until close bracket has to come okay so here just i am doing it that is whenever open bracket is coming just incrementing it so and whenever close bracket is coming i am decrementing it so suppose in the beginning only suppose i got this one this is the input close bucket is there so that time uh, we should not suppose i have as a a plus b like this this is not a valid expression okay so in the beginning only we should not decrement then you have to increment so what we'll do is here we are doing is just we're checking it so in the beginning only it's, uh, bracket valid is equal to zero or not if it is zero and you got the close bucket if it is zero and you got the close bucket that time we are saying as a, a bracket validate it is we are setting it to invalid one means here invalid and immediately we are stopping here okay so whenever it will stop it nothing but we are saying as a whatever input we got that is a wrong input so no need to calculate or no, no need to do any other task directly we got the wrong input so you can display the here you can it will come as it's not matching okay so that time it will display invalid expression okay so like the same thing we're uh, checking for arithmetic validation so how we're doing arithmetic validation is if you saw here suppose i have a plus b this is something but one operand is there and two operate sorry uh, one uh, operator is there and two operands are there okay so always if i have plus c also so here two operators are there three operands are there Okay, that is nothing but operand content will be always plus one will be there compared to operators so whatever operators are there if i have as a two operators so total three operands will be there okay to check that one we have this thing okay so whenever we are getting plus we are incrementing the arithmetic uh, valid thing okay so here also we are incrementing so whenever we are getting the actually operators we are incrementing it so and whenever we are getting the number or identifier we are decrementing it okay and always it will be there one extra operands will be there one extra so that's why i started this variable itself with one okay so um, what will happen in the end of this one suppose in the end of parsing the input what will happen this value will become as zero okay so that is it started one if i have two operands twice it's decreased so it's minus one if one operator is coming so it's incrementing once so that is it will become zero so that is whenever valid input is there that time it will become this variable will become zero so same thing what we're doing is if it is not both variables we are checking it if it is not equal to zero we are saying as a i'll say invalid expression otherwise we got the valid expression so just we are displaying whatever expressions we got it if it is star mark is there then display that if plus mark is there display it and overall number of identifiers we are displaying it okay and here we saw one more function we written that is y y wrap so whenever input will get over by default internally y y lex function will call one more function called as a y y wrap okay so you always input will be taken from the buffer whatever keyboard we are entering it that will go to the one buffer that from that buffer it is reading it so to identify that buffer is empty or not it will always call yylex will call yylrap function okay so here we are not doing any extra task here just we are saying as a return zero return zero indicates a successful execution so whenever input will get over just we are saying as a successful execution go out of this function okay so it will go out of the viva wrap and it will go to the viva lex viva lex will execute it okay 
so now we'll see the output okay so here how to compile it first okay so compilation is nothing but dot l file will be there so we are compiling using lex so lex space file name we are giving it one a dot l okay so this will generate generate one c file that c file name is lex dot yy dot c okay so this c file we have to compile as one normal c file okay and we are redirecting output to one a now we'll run the one a one a file so here it's asking for enter the expression so we'll give some expression so i'm giving here as a a plus b okay so this is a valid one so we're printing as a plus operator came once number of op identifiers are two okay so one more input we'll check it here suppose if i give one as a once again i'm running here okay so if i give one as a one sorry, a plus so this is invalid expression so we're saying as a this is invalid expression okay only star or multiplication operators are uh, only plus or multiplication operators are allowed that information we are giving it so this is invalid expression okay so like this one more will give that is a divided by b okay so for this one also it is giving as a invalid expression but a divided by b is actually valid one so as our question says here something as our question says that is you have to take it for only these two operators okay so that's why we allowed those two only if you want to allow division also here after two lines you can add one more uh, regular expression that is for divided by then corresponding action you can perform it okay like then you can add a number of operators whatever you want